Thank you for coming along. My name's Cameron Reynolds and this is my colleague Alex Bonney and we are the main operatives of Good Move Music. We have put this whole project together and run it with two fantastic schools. Bridge Academy here on my left which are located down on the canal in Hackney and Parkview which is located up in Haringey. Yeah, I think we might set up a bit differently today. The project was made with three main goals in mind. The, the first main goal was what Good Move Music is all about, which is young people making creative music and improvising and composing. Improvising like you teach yourself kind of thing, because you make it up yourself rather than someone telling you or showing you what to do. Let's all sing that. All sing it. La, 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 la. Um, can we run the A section, the very first section, because I wanted them to come up with the whole ethos song. behind the company that we set up was to try and do this kind of work. Um, we feel that it's something that is valuable for lots of reasons for young people. Um, we started off by showing them different skills. So the first few workshops, you know, we didn't get them making their own music straight away. I think one of the key things in the way that we work is we like to have all of them understanding all the different building blocks to the music. Let's try that. Okay, so we'll just loop it around the A section, I'll let you find something. Because everyone had a chance to do this last week, they kind of found their own part. The kind of creative process began sort of after the Phrenesis Masterclass. We started saying, hey listen, like, come up with a piece, it's got to have these things, like a bass line, it's got to have a beat and a contrasting section. And then towards the end we started to settle on, right, this is going to be your performance piece. Mm -hmm. Each week we'd maybe add something different or something like a bit more sophisticated to it. And yeah, they really, they really went with it and they had loads of ideas I and mean, it was almost a case of just trying to contain the ideas. Yeah. Bridge Academy, was, we were going into a music class. We had a group of kids who are not particularly specialising in music. They're just interested in music and we only had one period to work with them. We had to try and convey all of these ideas and all of these exercises in quite a short space of time. We got picked from the best people, basically, yeah, the good people the that play music. They got picked and then they just grew up and then we became a band and then we started practicing and improvising. I'm playing the Zyla from the wood one. I'm playing the drum, the percussion one, the nice ones. Parkview Academy was a very different story. It's a group of young people who have shown real interest in music, take parapatetic instrument lessons. Some of them come together after school anyway to do work. So they're sort of showing a whole level of interest and dedication to the subject that Bridge Academy are not. That's it. That's nice with just a simple backbeat like that. But that's okay because really the whole concept of this project was to meet the, the different kinds of needs. Just be really confident when you do it and you know, make a big sound. It applies to all of you that are soloing. Really project and, and you know, it's your moment. Hello, my name is Ruth. I go to Parkview Academy and I'm 13 years old. Um, how long have you been playing music, Ruth? Uh, four years, I think giving them control of their creativity is really important to us, the feeling that they have ownership of their own music, uh, which is, I think is, to be honest, is fairly unusual these days in, in a lot of um, uh, mainstream education. I'm Elsa Mock, I'm Head of Music at Parkview School. What we tend to do in schools, they re rehearse their party piece and they perform it on one night and please don't play a wrong note. Well they've kind of learnt that in this there aren't wrong notes but there are notes that are more right. I think that's an amazing way for children to learn music. <clears throat> I think uh, I think learning music was really she? formally can kind of take the joy out of it a lot of the time and I think I think that's not what was going on today. I think it was a really joyful performance and it was it really came across like that. And the second main goal was to bring local young people and their parents into a venue like the Vortex, which is a really important venue, but the local community misses out because it doesn't know it should come in. I've passed it. 
Yeah, never, I, I didn't know it was there, but I passed it. <laughs> so thanks very much all again to you for coming along. I, I really hope this will be a special, a special performance. I think all of the young people sitting in front of you are really amazing musicians. You know, the venue has been all important and for them to understand that this is a credible, exciting venue is so much better than doing it in someone's school hall. I thought that was amazing that they got a chance to play at the Vortex and to do a live performance. I think it's a really, really good experience for kids like that. And it makes them think about um, what they're learning in a completely different context. It makes them take things a bit more seriously. And I think the fact that all along it's been sold as this isn't a polished performance, this isn't a formal gig, this is us sharing what we've done so far. They've got that now, they understand that. The third main priority was to engage the young people in working with a really high level professional jazz trio. It gives me great pleasure to welcome to the stage hot from their US tour. Um, the fantastic piano trio. We've got uh, Jasper Hoyby, Anto Ega and Ivo Neem. This is Phrenesis. We have been playing music with the kids, lovely students from uh, two schools here in uh, London. The reason for bringing those guys in was really to um, help show the young people um, how the kind of skills that we have been showing them, how far that can be taken. Um, the masterclass with Phrenesis, uh, the build-up was intense. Uh, lots and lots of questions with the students and, you know, just lunchtime sitting with YouTube and, you know, who are these people, let's Wikipedia them, let's find out about them. And, and that was driven by the students, they wanted to know. They are electrifying, they are so amazing, it is unreal. Especially the drummer. The yeah, the drummer is actually, and the, as soon as I play bass, you know, I have to credit Dasper, he's absolutely fantastic. And we got very water. Watching them perform, the students were blown away by amazing instrumental skills, by the music that they didn't understand, but actually they felt they could understand a little bit when it was broken down. You know, that's the whole point of having an all that uh, a professional trio like Phrenesis play, is that it gives, an, it gives us an opportunity from an educational point of view to go, you see what we just taught you, that's what they're doing now. You know, can you hear that? Can you connect that, those two things together? It's about uh, breaking down barriers between sort of established things. There's no reason why young people who are making music in schools shouldn't feel connected to professional musicians making music in, in professional venues. So we're going to be doing this with Phrenesis just to con confirm that. So, so, you so the idea is to start giving young people the idea that they are part of the real world as well. And Jasper's going to be playing bass. He might be they're making music and that, that music is just as valid as music that you're going to see on television or music that you're going to see on stage and start getting them used to the idea of how you take what you do in your own you know private practice and rehearsal and then bring that into a performance environment you know look at this amazing band they're performing to your parents but you're performing alongside them and you're just as important and just as valuable as they are the unity that's been brought together of different year groups so we've got the older kids with the younger kids really supporting each other and they're all on an equal par it's not um, a thing about age it's about we're all musicians together what we're saying is we're going to give you a skill we're going to give you a concept and then you're going to explore that for your own music making Our whole job is to respond to that with a lot of support and guidance and say that's brilliant. You now this is how you could potentially make that better. I think that the more musically able of the students, I haven't noticed any dramatic change. Um, the, the weaker of the students are definitely gaining in confidence and with that are bringing that into the classroom. At the end of the day, the most important thing is that a bunch of young people got to be creative in their music making. It doesn't matter that one group is more specialist or more able than the other. The important thing is that they were learning the same thing and we really did teach the same things. 
Um, but for Bridge Academy, it's such an important thing that they begin to engage with the idea that they can make music and they can make their own music and that that's really valuable because hopefully that will mean that they will then become like the Parkview uh, young people and they will go and get lessons in an instrument and they will take part in ensembles after school. Now I'm thinking, right, who can we target next? Um, who else can have an opportunity? The opportunity to express what you are feeling and what you're doing through music is, is, is such an important thing to any, any individual. Um, and, you know, virtuosity and being, uh, being very technically skilled and practicing hard and executing other people's music very well is, is all well and good and it's part of being a musician. But having that opportunity to express yourself creatively is, is, what, is what we feel like we're bringing to the, to the, uh, to the music education world.